Welcome back. Let's take you to Finland now, where after two decades of construction, work will soon be completed on the world's first geological tomb for spent nuclear fuel. Finland opened Europe's most powerful nuclear reactor last April. It's betting on nuclear to boost energy security and help it reach its climate goals. Adrian Murray has more. It's a brief elevator ride, almost half a kilometre underground, into the depths of Onkalo where for the first time anywhere in the world, highly radioactive nuclear waste will be permanently stored. These tunnels span more than 50 kilometers. Our depth at the moment is about 430 meters. Eventually they'll hold six and a half thousand tons of spent uranium, all the waste Finland's five reactors will ever produce. It takes hundreds of thousands of years for radioactive waste to safely decay. And this underground tomb is the final resting place for Finland's spent nuclear fuel. The bedrock here is almost two billion years old, and geologists think it's ideal for a nuclear graveyard. Olkiluoto and the whole western Finland is located in a really stable, a geologically stable area. We have hardly any earthquakes, and the groundwater conditions are good for our concept. In a final disposal facility, remote controlled machines will do the work, slotting five meter copper canisters into holes in the rock before it's sealed off with clay and a thick concrete plug. Most radioactive waste is temporarily stored in pools above ground, and worldwide around 260,000 tonnes are piling up. But Finland believes a geological tomb like this offers a safer solution. You need to cool down the spent fuel for 40 years. The world is full of those temporary storages, and almost all of that oldest waste is ready to be put to its final place. You might imagine that few would welcome such a facility in their backyard. But two-thirds of Finns support nuclear energy. And in the neighbouring town of Eurojoki, locals have been won over by jobs and huge tax revenues. When they built it, there was a lot of employees, workers, and it uh, bring money. If we look around, everything here is because of that. It has given us everything. It's, 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 just, a, it's just a fact. The nearby power plant, Okiloto, is now home to three reactors, after Europe's newest and most powerful was switched on last year. Amid heightened tensions with Russia, it's been fortunate timing and has helped spare Finland from the worst of Europe's energy crisis. We have a history of being the most dependent on imports in electricity. And finally now, we are not dependent on imports anymore. Nuclear power doesn't produce any direct carbon emissions, and here it's seen as climate friendly. Even Finland's Green Party have backed it. More than 90%. But some environmentalists still worry about the risks. You have waste that you should take care of for enormous amount of generations, so it would be hard to say that it would be sustainable. While some countries like Germany have said no to nuclear, Others, including the UK, are building new reactors and are watching Finland very closely. Adrian Murray, BBC News, Eurojockey.